believed to be the final pre-draft workout for the Trailblazers, here's a rundown of who's at the practice facility today. Check back throughout the day for full coverage of the workouts from Jason Quick plus loads of videos. Troy Brown Jr., Oregon Mikhail McIntosh, Oregon D. Anthony Melton, USC Landry Shamit, Wichita State Josh Okogi, 6 4, guard, Georgia Tech Kyrie Thomas, Crichton Billy Preseton, 6 10, forward, Kansas Kyrie Thomas height, 6 feet 3 inches. Weight, 200 pounds position, guard school, sophomore, Crichton 2017-18 season averages, 15.1 ppg, 4.4 rpg, 2.8 apg did you know that? He has a great ability to score the ball, but will make a name for himself on the defensive side of the ball. Thomas shared Biggie's Defensive Player of the Year in 2016-17, and won the award outright in 2017-18. A notable players to win Big East VPOY multiple times, NBA legends Allen Iverson, Alonzo Mourning, the Kambe Mutomo and Patrick Ewing, as well as current Bulls point guard Chris Dunn. Summer League starts for the Trailblazers on July 7, and as usual, the roster for the annual event will be made up of the Blazers' 2018 draft picks, undrafted free agents, NBA veterans looking to latch onto a roster, and current Trailblazers. So, which Trailblazers players do you want to see in Sin City? Here are the most likely candidates to represent the Blazers and why they should be in Las Vegas, Caleb Swanigan, last. Summer League 8 Games, 16.1 ppg, 10.6 rpg, 2.3 apg Swanigan burst on the Summer League scene and made an instant impact with his energy and hustle on the boards. Swanigan had the second most rebounds per game of any player at the event and was an All-NBA Summer League first team selection. However, his success in Las Vegas didn't translate to the NBA regular season. Swanigan played in just 27 regular season games, averaging 2.3 points, 2.0 rebounds, and 0.5 assists per contest. More than any other Blazer, Swanigan needs to be in Las Vegas. Swanigan needs the chance to once again show what he can bring to the table and convince not only the coaching staff, but also himself, that he can succeed in this league, Jake Lehman's last summer. League 8 games 13.8 ppg, 4.6 rpg, 1.0 apg Lehman had a successful summer league outing in 2017, but like Swanigan, it didn't translate to a lot of playing time in the regular season. Lehman was kept buried at the end of the bench and appeared in just 35 games, averaging 1.0 points, 0.5 rebounds, and 0.3 assists per game. Lehman will be entering his third season in the league in 2018, and like Swanigan, needs to show something special at Summer League or it could be another season of nothing but garbage time minutes. Wade Baldwin, last summer league with Memphis 6 games, 14.2 ppg, 6.3 rpg, 2.7 apg Baldwin had a great summer league for the Grizzlies last year, but he spent most of the regular season in the G League before Memphis waived him. One team's trash is another team's treasure, and Baldwin has appeared to find a home with the Blazers. He played in just seven games for Portland but showed great potential on defense and brought good energy to the floor. His best game, a 15-point outburst against his former team on March 28. A strong showing in Vegas could convince the Blazers that Baldwin is a capable backup point guard should they lose Shabazz Napier in free agency Zach Collins, last summer league 3 games, 6.3 ppg, 5.7 rpg, 0.7 apg by all accounts, Zach Collins had a very poor summer league last season. However, just like success in Vegas doesn't always lead to success in the regular season, failure in summer league doesn't always lead to failure in the regular season. Collins started the year with DNPs, but ended the season as a key part of Portland's rotation. Right now Collins is 50-50 on whether or not he will be in Vegas, but judging by his late season run, he will be well entrenched in the Blazers' rotation no matter what. Collins has little to gain at Summer League outside of getting a few more games under his belt.
the risk of injury may not be worth the minimal gain. MGM Resorts NBA Summer League 2018 in Las Vegas is just around the corner and on Tuesday the NBA released the schedule for the annual summer basketball event. The Portland Trailblazers will open up play on July 7 against the Utah Jazz, follow that up the next day with a matchup against the Atlanta Hawks, and wrap up pool play on July 10 with a game against the San Antonio Spurs. Tournament play will begin on July 11. A detailed schedule for the Blazers is below. Game 1, Saturday, July 7, 12 p.m. Portland vs. Utah Cox Pavilion, NBA TV. Game 2, Sunday, July 8, 2.30 p.m. Portland vs. Atlanta, Thomas. Portland Cox Pavilion, NBA TV. The first round of the Summer League Tournament will begin on July 11, ending with the championship game on July 17. The Blazers will play at least five games, three in pool play and a minimum of two tournament games, and as many as eight if they make it to the championship game. Be sure to follow Jason Quick and Jamie Hudson. For full coverage of the Trailblazers in Las Vegas from the opening tip-off until the end of the tournament and check back here at NBCSportsNorthwest.com daily. To see the complete schedule for the Las Vegas Summer League visit NBA.com. Tickets are available now and can be purchased at NBATickets.com. Blazer 5 Gaming is taking the NBA 2K League by storm and just took home the Turn Tournament Championship. Blazer 5 Gaming wins the at NBA 2K League the Turn Tournament and takes home the championship banner. PG at Mamame.man underscore is named Tournament MVP after posting three straight 30-point games. Watch our best plays from the Turn Championship run. Twitter.com slash FSO7 La 6 QDK Blazer 5 Gaming at Blazer 5 Gaming June 10, 2018 and a post-tournament interview with MVP Mamame Dotman The turn MVP at Mamame Dotman underscore joins the at Intel analyst desk to discuss his performance throughout the tournament en route to at Blazer 5 Gaming's championship run. Twitter.com slash Yop V3 S6 off NBA 2 Kleeg at Enba 2 Kleeg June 9, 2018 Have you ever had a day where you were sitting down minding your own business when out of nowhere LeBron James sends a verbal barb your way? Today was that day for Portland. During today's media availability at Quicken Loans Arena James was asked about the performance of Kevin Durant and what he saw from him when Durant is in OKC. His response, you knew he was built for greatness from the time he was drafted. I mean, everybody knew that besides Portland, sorry Portland, too soon, LeBron. Too soon, doesn't he remember Odin helped his Heat get to the NBA Finals in 2014? Well, he probably blames Odin for Miami losing the series, so maybe he is just a little salty. But let's be real here, this draft, advice, is coming from a guy who plays for the team that drafted Anthony Bennett, first overall. The Cavs could have drafted Victor Oladipo, CJ McCollum, Giannis Antetokounmpo, or Rudy Gobert. The point is, hindsight is always 20 to 20 Mr. James, don't forget it. Everybody knew that besides. Poland, tears of joy LeBron had some big things to say on KD. For 272 career threes, the second most ever at Idaho, had 130 career steals, the third most all-time at Idaho. Made 546 field goals, the fifth most ever at Idaho 2017-18, second team All Big Sky, NABC All District, six second team, preseason All Big Sky, started in all 31 games, dot led the team averaging 19.0 points per game, the fourth highest average in the conference, scored 589 points on the season, the seventh most in a single season in program history, made 81 three-point field goals on the season, the eighth most in a single season in program history, scored in double figures in 29 of 31 games, scored 20 or more points 15 times, recorded first career double-double with 14 points and a career-high 10 rebounds in season opener at Nevada, shot 45.7% from the floor, 38.8% from three-point range, and 77.8% from the line, averaged 3.3 assists per game, the eighth best total in the conference, dot led the team with 102 assists and 32 steals 2016-17, preseason all-big sky.
First Team All Big Sky Big Sky All Tournament Team Started 32 games Averaged 20.9 points per game The 5th best average in program history Has 670 points on the season The 6th most in a single season in program history Knocked down 101 threes The 2nd most in program history Shot 43.9% from beyond the arc The 9th best average in team history Made 157 free throws The 6th best in program history Topped 20.16 times Including 530 plus points games and one 40-point game, scored 40 points, the seventh most in a game in program history, in Idaho's win over Portland State, also hit seven threes in that game, the eighth most in a single game in team history, picked up seven steals at Washington State, tying the most ever in a game at Idaho, scored in double figures 31 times in 32 games, 2015-16, second team all Big Sky. Big Sky All-Tournament Team, appeared in 27 games, starting 25, led the Vandals with 15.9 points per game, averaged 17.9 points per game in Big Sky play, also the highest on the team, missed a brief stretch of the season in conference play due to injury, but bounced back immediately, averaged 29.3 points per game during a three-game stretch in conference play without fellow guard Perry and Calandre, tops 20.7 times, including a career-high 33-point output against now, scored in double figures in 24 of 20 27 games, averaged 17.5 points per game during the Big Sky Tournament in Reno, shot 41.6% from beyond the arc, the 44th best average in the nation, shot 84.8% from the charity stripe, the 7th best average in program history, 2014-15, appeared in all 30 games for the Vandals, starting 1. Averaged 3.8 points per game on the season, scored a season-high 10 points and grabbed 7 rebounds against Walla Walla. Scored 7 points in the season finale against Eastern Washington. Name Trevon Duvel height, 6 feet 3 inches weight, 186 pounds position, guard school, freshman, due 2017-18 season averages, 10.3 ppg, 2.0 rpg, 5.6 apg career highlights via goduke.com, career played in 37 games his rookie season and made 34 starts his 207 assists were the 4th most in a season by a Duke freshman slashing, highlight reel guard with excellent court vision and speed declared for the NBA draft on April 4th, 20,180,000. 2017-18 played in all 37 games and made 34 starts, averaging 10.3 points, 5.6 assists, 2.0 rebounds, and 29.8 minutes per game. One of four Blue Devils to play in every game named to the NCAA All-Midwest Region team whose 207 assists were the fourth most by a Duke freshman in a season, while his 5.6 assists per game ranked third on the Duke freshman list and ranked third in the ACC. His 2.0 assists to turnover ratio was 12th in the ACC, while his 1.5 5 steals per game ranked 11th in the conference posted 4 different games with 10 or more assists, the 3rd most by a Duke freshman in history scored 8 points with 8 assists and 3 steals in his Duke debut versus Elon, 11 tenths, followed his performance against Elon with a double-double against Utah Valley, 11 elevenths, scoring 15 points with 12 assists and just 1 turnover in 30 minutes 3 nights late against Michigan State in the Champions Classic, 11 fourteenths, recorded his 2nd double-double with 17 points, 10 assists and 6 steals, accumulated 30 assists against 4 turnovers in his first 3 collegiate games netted a career-high 22 points against Portland State, 11 23rds in the opening game of the PK-80 in Portland, shooting 7 to 14 from the field and hitting 7 of 9 at the free throw line had 15 points, 6 assists and no turnovers at Indiana in the ACC, Big Ten Challenge, 11 29ths dished out 11 assists in just 20 minutes against Street. Francis, 12 fifths, scored 16 points with 4 assists against Florida State, 12 thirtieths, shot 7 of 11 from the field, knocked down both of his 3 point attempts and totaled 17 points with 8 assists at Miami, 1 15th, scored 6 points, had 4 assists and set a career high with 5 steals against Louisville, 2 21sts, in the home win over North Carolina, 3 thirds, made 3 of 4 shots from the field, including his only 3, and totaled 7 points, 6 assists and no turnovers, dished out 11 assists versus Notre Dame. In the quarterfinals, three eighths, which were one shy of his career high and tied for the third most by a freshman in an ACC tournament game, totaled 18 assists over Duke's two games in the ACC tournament, the third most by a player. 
over two games in ACC tournament history poured in 19 points on a career-best 4 of 5 from three-point range and totaled 8 assists in the NCAA tournament first round against Iona, 3 15ths, his 4 of 5 performance from distance against Iona set a Duke freshman record for three-point accuracy in an NCAA tournament game had 11 points and 7 assists versus Rhode Island in the NCAA second round, 3 17ths, exploded for 20 points on 9 of 15 shooting and 6 assists against Kansas in the Elite Eight, 3 25ths, coming 2 points shy of his career high and playing a career high 43 minutes in the overtime thriller finished the NCAA tournament shooting 7 of 18 from 3 point range, the 5th best percentage by a Duke freshman in the NCAA tournament name, Bruce Brown Jr. Height, 6 feet 5 inches. Weight, 202 pounds position, guard school, sophomore, Miami 2017-18 season averages, 11.4 ppg, 7.1 rpg, 4.0 apg career highlights via hurricanesports.com, all ACC academic men's basketball team, 2017 ACC rookie of the week, deck. 12, 2016 and Feb. 28-20,172,016 Jordan Brand Classic All-American Bookbuster Honor Roll 3.0 GPA Fall 2016 as a sophomore 2017-18 Preseason Honors Preseason All-ACC Second Team Preseason ESPN Third Team All-American Would an award preseason Top 50 Citizen Naismith Trophy Watch List Julia Serving Small Forward of Year Award Watch List Lute Olson National Player of Year Award Watch List Oscar Robertson Trophy Watch List Season Played and Started in 19 games, averaging 11.4 points, 7.1 rebounds and 4.0 assists per game. Missed final 12 games with left foot injury, which was diagnosed on January 29, had surgery February 1st. Ranked 12th in ACC in rebounds at 7.1 per game at time of injury, second among guards. Second on team in assists with 76. Recorded second career triple double in season opener versus Gardner Webb 10 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. Triple double was third in program history and 31st in ACC history, sixth player in league history with two career triple doubles. Had 14 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, and win over North Florida 11 25ths. Posted 16 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists and no turnovers and win at no. 12 Minnesota, 11 29ths. Scored 14 of his 17 points in the first half and win against Princeton, 12 halves. Missed Boston U. Game with left hand injury, returned for GW game. Averaged 12.3 points, 6.0 rebounds and 4.0 assists in Diamond Head Classic Scored season-high 20 points against Middle Tennessee Had 11 points and 5 boards in ACC opener at Pitt 12 30ths Recorded 9 points, 9 rebounds, career-high 4 blocks and 3 steals at Georgia Tech 1 3rd Tally 23 points, including career best 12 of 14 effort at free throw line, in win over Florida State, 1 7th. Scored 19 points and dished out 9 assists in win at NC State, 1 21st. Recorded 13 points, 7 boards, and 5 assists at Florida State, 124th. As a freshman, 2016 17, Brown 2016 17 game by game stats, final 2017 NCAA rankings, no. 3 triple doubles, 1, number 147 total steals, 49, number 164 steals per game, 1.48, number 235 assist turnover ratio, 1.58, Miami record book listings, season, ACC games only, no. 5 assists, 61, no. 5 steals, 26, no 6 minutes played, 604, freshman, season, since 2004-05, number 1 scoring, 391, number 1 field goals made, 134, number 1 free throws made, 90, no. Free throws attempted, 122, no.
a minute played, 1053, number 2 rebounding, 186, number 2 three-point field goals made, 33, number 2 assists, 106, number 2 steals, 49, no. 3 field goal percentage, 45.9%, 134 to 292, no. 3 blocked shots, 18, number, 4 free throw percentage, 74.4%, 90 to 121, number, 4 3 point field goals attempted, 95, no. 5 3 point field goal percentage, 34.7%, 33 to 95, freshman, game, since 2004 05, no. 1 points, 30, number 3 points, 25, T number 1 field goals made, 11, T no. 5 field goals made, 9, T number 1 field goal attempts, 18, T no. 3 field goal percentage, 72.7%, 8 to 11, T 5 3 point field goal percentage, 66.7%, 4 to 6, no. 1 free throws made 10, number 2 free throws made 9 twice, number 1 free throw attempts 13, number 2 free throw attempts 11, no. 3 free throw attempts 10, no. 1 free throw percentage 90.0%, 9 to 10, number 2 free throw percentage 81.8%, 9 to 11, number 5 rebounds 12, number 1 assists 10, T no. 5 blocked shots, 3 twice, no. 1 minute played, 44, conference stats among ACC players in ACC games, no. 5 steals, 1.4, season, started 29 of 33 games played. Notched the program's second triple-double with 11 points, 11 rebounds and 10 assists against South Carolina State. Two double-doubles with the game against SC State and 14 points and 12 rebounds against George Washington. Scored 30 points against No. 96 North Carolina, 25 points versus No. 10 11th Duke and 21 points versus No. 6 North Carolina, averaged 11.8 points, 5.6 rebounds, 3.2 assists, 1.5 steals and 0.5 blocks in 31.9 minutes per game. Told 391 points, 186 rebounds, 106 assists, 49 steals and 18 blocks in 1,053 minutes. 45.9%, 134 to 292, from the field, 34.7%, 33 to 95, from 3 and 74.4%, 90 to 121, at the line. That are tied for team high in scoring 6 games, rebounds 9 times, assists 16 times, steals in 14 games and blocked shots 6 times. Scored in double digits in 20 games. Hit multiple three-pointers in nine games. Notched at least one three-pointer in 21 outings. Recorded double-digit rebounds twice. Blocked a shot in 12 games. Multiple assists in 22 outings, with three-plus in 17 games. Season highs, 30 points versus North Carolina, 128, 12 rebounds versus George Washington, 12 20 seconds, 10 assists versus South Carolina State 12 sixths, 3 steals 5 times, 3 blocked shots twice, 44 minutes at Virginia, 2 20ths. What 3 Miami players to start all 18 ACC games? In ACC play average 12.7 points, 4.7 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 1.4 steals and 0.7 blocks in 33.6 minutes. In ACC play total 228 points, 85 rebounds, 61 assists, 26 steals and 13 blocks in 604 minutes. Connected on 46.4%, 78 to 168, from the field, 40.0%, 22 to 55, from 3 and 73.5%, 50 to 68, at the line. In two ACC tournament games, averaged a team high 13.0 points, 6.0 rebounds, 1.0 assists and 0.5 steals in 30.5 minutes per game. 
shot 10 to 19 from the field, 2 to 8 from 3 and 4 to 4 at the line. In one NCAA tournament game, had 11 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists and 3 steals in 34 minutes. Hit 3 to 6 from the field, 1 to 3 from 3 and 4 to 6 at the line. After working out for Chicago and Phoenix, teenager and Fernie Simon said his performance Monday with the Trailblazers was his best yet, I made shots, showed I could play the game, showed I could do the little things, said Simons, who turns 19 on Friday. Simons, a 6'3", 183-pound guard who did not attend college, is among the more intriguing, yet risky, first-round prospects in the June 21st NBA draft. Mock drafts have him going as early as 18, or somewhere near where the Blazers select it, no. 24 During a brief moment the media was allowed to watch Monday, Simons had a smooth shot that he hit with ease from deep. And at the NBA Combine last month in Chicago, he recorded a 41.5-inch max vertical leap, which tied for the third highest of all prospects measured behind Villanova guard Dante DiVincenzo, 42, and Georgia Tech guard Josh Okogi, 42. A condensed look at the young Fernie Simons workout at the at Impact Fall Pro Day this past week that first step smooth handle. Full workout https colon slash slash t dot co slash ud eighty one m six four three yo dan for nee simons at basketball br at coach abc if all else fails i know i can make shots he has a bright smile and an engaging personality which has been shaped by involved parents and real life lessons Three of his former teammates in Florida have passed away recently, one after collapsing while playing pickup basketball and two others who were shot. I've learned life is too short to take anything for granted, Simon said. That philosophy was part of his bypass in college. He committed to Louisville but pulled out after coach Rick Patino was fired and attending the renowned IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. While taking one college course, I felt like I needed to stay in the gym and work out to get better and get stronger, he said. Simons headlined the Blazers' third day of workouts, which included six guards, Kentucky freshman Hamido Diallo, Duke freshman Trevon Duvel, SMU junior Shake Milton, Maryland Baltimore County senior Jarius Lyles, and Idaho senior and former Jefferson High standout Victor Sanders. By the end of the workout, several Blazers watched from the sideline, including all-star guard Damian Lillard. If there is a noticeable difference between Simons and other NBA guards, it's his size. He said he was 5 foot 9 as a high school freshman and 6 foot as a sophomore before sprouting to 6 to 3 his junior season. He noted he wants to put on more weight which he expects will come with time. In my eyes, I feel like I can play right away. Obviously, I have to get stronger and stuff, but that can come in the season, Simon said. I feel like I can contribute right away by making shots and playing defense, Simon said he has about six more teams to work out for, including the Lakers on Tuesday in Los Angeles.